Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Mist wallet for Ethereum. The first step is to find the correct domain name. And you're going to want to go to Google for this. In the search, you're going to type in Ethereum, which is spelled E-T-H-E-R-E-U-M dot org. Go ahead and search that. And one way you could find this website is also through CoinMarketCap. So I'm going to go to CoinMarketCap really quickly. And I'm going to scroll down the list until I find Ethereum. I'm going to click on it and scroll down a little bit until I find the website right here. I'll click that. And as you can see, it takes me back to Ethereum.org. Another way to check it is by going on their social profile on Twitter. You do that by clicking social right here. And when you do, you scroll down again. And if you look on my cursor right here, it's pointing towards the Ethereum Twitter page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. As you can see, they have 419,000 followers. And in their description, they're promoting the link ethereum.org which matches up with the same website we went on. So perfect. I'm going to exit out of this for now. And the second step is to choose the correct wallet. So we're going to go back to this website. We're going to scroll down and skip past the build unstoppable applications and stop at the smart money, smart wallet section. In one of my previous videos, I've talked about how to set up an Ethereum wallet. However, for this video, I'm showing you how to specifically set up a Mist wallet. And the way you do that is by clicking see all versions. This does pop up. You do have to read this before downloading it. It's security warnings, a legal warning, and it has a short version along with the long version. Go ahead and pause the video here to read the entire thing if you have not yet done so already and continue the video once you're done. Okay, great. So now that you've completed reading this, you're gonna wanna click Sure, I Understand on the bottom right here. You, you may not be able to see it because my face is in the way, but it says, sure, I understand and agree. Okay, so that link does take us to the GitHub site. And if you scroll down to the assets, there's two options. There's the Ethereum wallet and the Mist wallet down here. Uh, keep in mind that the Mist wallet is an official wallet for Ethereum. And note that the Mist Wallet is also developed and was created by the main Ethereum development team. So what we're going to do now is click the DMG file for Mist, which is right here. If you're using another computer like a Windows, you would be clicking the EXE file. However, since I'm using my MacBook, I'm going to click the DMG file which is step number three, download the wallet. So go ahead and click that right now. And as you can see on the bottom left side of my screen here, it's starting to download and it's saying it's gonna take about a minute to do so. So you could go ahead and pause the video once more and wait for that to download and then continue the video once it's done downloading. Okay, perfect. It just completed downloading. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. You do that by clicking the download. I'm gonna double click this on the bottom left and it's starting to open. This pops up for me where I have to drag this to my applications folder. And once you do so, open it by double clicking it. It's saying, are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to click yes, open. 
and now I'm waiting for it to upload. So while it's uploading, I'm going to exit out of this and I'll minimize this. And there you have it. This is the Mist wallet. In this video, I'm not going to be talking about how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. I'm just showing you how to download and install it. I can give you a quick pointer for adding an account, but all you have to do is click this blue button right here. All you have to do is press create new account. And it's asking for a password. And as far as the password goes on our team, we use keypass.info. That's spelled K-E-E-P-A-S-S dot info. And this is a password manager where you could store all your accounts and passwords. And it auto-generates and gives you a very strong password to use for all your accounts related to crypto. So go ahead and do that if you have not done so already. And once you get your password from there, you're going to want to copy and paste that into here where it says enter password. And once you click OK, it's going to ask you to reconfirm it. So just copy and paste it again and your account will be created. The last step is step number five, which is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I will show you how that looks like right now. I'm going to drag my screen recorder to the top left and pull this up a little. And as you can see, it says on the top mist. So I'm going to click mist and then I'm going to click quit mist. And as you can see, it disappeared. So the way you want to reopen it is by going to your finder, going to your applications and then finding the mist application inside that folder. And for me, it's right here. So I'm going to right click and then click open and I could exit out of this for now. And voila, it reopened, which is perfect. And now that it's reopened, this concludes my video. If you like these types of tutorials, get a copy of the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. You could look at the screen here for the address and you could screenshot it if you wish. Another thing is you could check the links below in the description. Another thing, follow us on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my MIST tutorial for Ethereum. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day.